the highlights of 2011 for me were reaching the Leinster final here in Crow Park versus Dublin and beating Westmead and Offaly and Carlow along the way. So we would so we'd a good strong year in Leinster but looking forward to maybe going one step further next year. Uh, the lessons we learned from the year past were not to take any game for granted. We had tough games against the likes of Carlo and, and Limerick, which wouldn't have been considered traditional football teams, but Limerick went out and beat us and we struggled against Carlo for long periods. So lesson learned is definitely not to take any game too lightly. I suppose I'd put it down to a good balance between the two. You know, it's there's no rivalry or there's no there's a couple of just hurling clubs and there's a lot of just football teams and I think they've struck a balance in the county. I don't think football has surpassed hurling. I don't think it has any ambitions to, but it's a good balance between the two. Uh, the expectations for 2012 for Wexford are not, never normally too lofty heights. You know, people people hope we'll do well and we have a tough draw again with Dublin on our side. So our expectations possibly to uh, be, defeat Dublin finally. Uh, the National League, yes, I'm looking forward to the National League now. Um, we need to get out of Division 3. We've been languishing in it for a couple of years now and we need to get back up to the to the big leagues, as they say. Um, now that the season is over, I've um, basically uh, taken some time away from it. We, were in, we won the club championship in Wexford, so I've been pretty busy up until two weeks ago and now since that. I'm given uh, <laughs> a little bit of a polish to my social life that I probably uh, lacked in in the last eight months or nine months. So that's basically what I'm doing. <laughs>